guys and welcome back to another vlog but before i start today's vlog i wanted to give a massive shout out to italo jewelry for sponsoring today's video If you guys have never heard me talk about Italo Jewelry before, I have mentioned them previously in another video. I've also talked about them on Instagram. But basically, Italo Jewelry is a jewelry company that provides a whole range of different kinds of products. They create necklaces, they create bracelets, they create rings, earrings, pendants, a whole bunch of stuff, a variety of stuff. They create wedding rings, wedding bands, engagement bands, whatever kind of bands you guys want. They have all those things. They have massive variety. It's it's so hard to buy jewelry that is so dreamy and so shiny big jewels big stones for an affordable price it's literally nearly impossible unless you have like a thousand thousands and thousands of dollars to spend on the side that's just laying around you can get pieces just like that for like a penny of the cost the cost is honestly so affordable for all these products sometimes you have to question do i really need to spend an arm and a leg on a ring or on a necklace or on a bracelet everyone still deserves nice pieces of jewelry everyone still deserves to spoil themselves to treat themselves to treat their loved ones or significant other or anyone in their family or friends so you can get so many different pieces at such a slice of the cost like slice of the cost they also create custom pieces as well each piece is separately handcrafted by a professional and there are honestly no limitation and there's endless options i don't know about any of you guys but i always see all these celebrities and stuff wearing these really big rock rings and they look so nice and so pretty and i'm just like there is no way on earth that i can afford any of that but hold and behold i have those exact rings but at an affordable cost these are so identical to the rings that celebrities wear and you know those dream rings those trending rings Rings. I remember I was wearing a couple of rings for I think a Thanksgiving dinner I went to and everyone was like yo Where'd you get that ring from? It's so shiny. How much was that ring? And I even caught myself looking at my hands sometimes and I was like whoa like what? Like why is it so shiny? And it's so incredible. I personally love simplicity. I love a clean cut I love anything that's sleek and design as well so these studs that I'm wearing, they're an oval shaped stone stud and they're my go-to earrings that I wear pretty much all the time. And these rings are my absolute favorite. Like I love stacking them up. Sometimes I'll just wear two and maybe I'll wear three, but usually I'll, you'll never catch me wearing one. I love how they look. They're so pretty, they're so shiny. They fit really comfortably. There's so many different sizes. And I also love this really, really sleek bracelet. It's so lightweight, but it also has that weight of actual diamonds, like real expensive, expensive, very expensive of diamonds it has that feel it has that look it has that touch each piece of jewelry that you do buy comes with a silver polishing cloth it comes with a sterling silver certificate and it also comes with a one-year warranty if you check out their website you can see that there are so many different kinds of engagement rings with so many different cut stones and diamonds and the wedding bands wedding sets jewelry so it goes from necklaces earrings bracelets couple rings you guys want to match one another they have couple rings and there's also a section designated just for men so now not even a one-year warranty is the best thing but the best thing also is your payment is 100% secure and in a 60-day return policy and there's free shipping no matter where you are in the world so if you guys are interested make sure you click the link down below in my description box you'll find the website and you'll also find a link that you can use to get an additional 20% off but I would definitely say that if you guys are gonna get your hands on something definitely get your girls some rings if you're a guy watching but if you're also a girl watching 
Get some rings for yourselves, guys. They are, oh my god, these are like my favorite rings ever. I've wanted these rings for like the longest time. I feel like I've manifested these rings. But anyways, make sure you check out the website. And without further ado, let's begin this vlog. Good morning, guys. I hope you've had an amazing day today. It is a couple days in of me being in England. And let me just tell you, I've had a rough couple days. I'm allergic to her dog, Banksy. So I had to sort that out. I got medicine. One of our friends helped me out. And I got some good allergy medication, which worked like a charm the next day. So I'm finally good. But now, like, my little nose is recovering from all, like, the nose blowing and situation stuff going on. Whatever. But we are getting our big tree in the backyard cut down. I think it's, like, a thousand years old. I'm not even exaggerating, but it's literally leaning forward and we're getting like a unit built in the back So before the tree crushes the unit, we have to get the tree cut down So it's been a hectic couple days, but I will show you guys the tree getting cut down today What's happening? Don't know. So they already started cutting down the tree, but holy so much sunlight tree left. Banksy, where's the tree? Where's the tree? He's so confused. How do you feel about that? Can't believe it. Can't wait for this to go now. What are we gonna do with that piece now? You're gonna sit on it. That's it has a hole in it. As you, you can, can make it butt. into a toilet. Uh, yeah, there's, a hole. there's a hole in it. How far does the hole go? Did you check? Go find out. Put your hand in there. You put your hand in there. Are you dumb? That's messed up, man. What if something comes out of there? I ain't touching that. What do we do with all this gun? Have my shoes back. Can I please have these back? <laughs> they're so fresh and white. They're please. so big on me, but they're Don't easy to them. put on. <laughs> Oh, it's still recording. Oh my god, please, man. Don't I dropped the camera. How did you bring his bone out here? guys i hope you're having an amazing day today i spent all of yesterday evening putting the spices in the spice jars i ran out of jars i need 12 more jars so i'm having this like ocd feeling where one rack in the drawer is still empty and i also have to label the jar still so when that's done i will show you guys in the meantime our construction has started in the back for our new office studio space and i'm really really excited for that it's gonna take about a week and then we'll probably be moving into there so super excited about that roughly guys the windows are mad dirty right now but basically it's going in the back of the garden there. It's about 10 by 4 meters. So I'm really excited about that. It's literally been day one. Today is Monday. And maybe I'm that much already. So much. I'm so excited. I'll be done by the end of the week. And then my electricity stuff will go in on Monday. Holy moly. Well, we can't go inside because they're already locked up. Unbelievable. So big. Basically, what we're building in the back is um, a new office space. For those of you guys that have been following me for a while, know that we got a unit space or office studio space last year a while ago in a building. And then I was stuck in Canada for six months and then we never used it, whatever. So we sold it. So now, because of the circumstances and stuff like that, we have to be at home more. And now we're building a studio in the back, which is going to have like a desk for me and I'm in. It's going to have like a sofa area, TV chill out zone area and then i'm also gonna have a separate division room where i can film like my makeup videos and like my sit down and talk videos and have all my equipment and stuff in there so it'll be really cool and it'll be like it'll give us a space to just do our work while we do work in the house so i'm trying to diy and renovate the whole house as well so there's a lot happening in the next couple of months maybe even the rest of the year 
a lot of exciting stuff. I'm really excited. I'm very tired, but that is the process that we are going to be living in or dealing with during that time. So I will keep you guys posted. So this studio in the back is gonna be done by the end of this week, hopefully. And the electric stuff will be done on Monday and then we'll be ready to go. So we're planning to move in all of our stuff on the weekend before the electric people come in, the electricians or whatever. And then I'll finally have a space to sit into my work instead of doing my work in bed. Super excited. So today is day two of the construction in the backyard for the studio office. You could probably hear the sounds of the, the thing, what's it called, the saw? The hand saw thing, the electronic saw. I don't know what it's called, okay? But you can probably hear it in the back. I wish I could go out in the back and show you guys, but you know, I'll, I'll wait till the end until they're done to show you the next update. Um, I'm quickly gonna get ready because I have to film something, but by the time I'm done, my last remaining 12 spice jars should be here because I ordered them on Amazon. From Amazon on... I ordered them on Sunday, so they should be here today. And then I can finish that and then label it and then I can show you guys. So excited. It's literally been the best thing ever. It's so much fun to cook knowing that it's so organized and it's so easy to see everything i haven't labeled it yet so i get mad confused as to what's what but i have written it down on a piece of paper so yeah that's the plan oh guys this is day two day two day two what did they do today they did they did the flooring and they put the lights in the floor the they put trim. the lights in and then they did the trimming at the top Floorboards inside he's still playing with the roots in the ground and then we did the flooring inside and come i'll show you where are you taking us come on. Put your head. guys this is a corner window Ah, tree! Oh, gutter. No, gutter. Wow, that's so nice. Look how shiny that is. Today on National Geographic, we have Banksy sitting there with his with his tray. His land. The it's paint classic. tray is full of blood. One that is not. Wait, wait, I'm going there. Bye, Banksy. Bye, Banks. Bye, Banks. Watch as he slowly approaches. No, he's not approaching. Ah, he's coming. There he goes. There he goes. Hello, Banksy, bro. what are you doing? He's a digging dog. He's a hard worker. What is this teamwork over here? <laughs> oh. it looks like he's playing football. You excited? So excited. How are you feeling? Are you excited? For you I'm mainly. I'm excited. I can't divide my time between housework and my own work. So this will be nice to like go to work and then do housework. I'm just excited to create new creations and take over the world with my bright colored artwork. Not that bright. Not, yeah, not that bright like your brain. <laughs> you're just complimenting me. Not that bright like your artwork. Wait, wait what? <laughs> yeah, you're like, I'm not, you're, you're like, your artwork's bright. I'm like, it's not that bright. You're like, yeah, not as bright as your brain. You just made me so oh, intelligent. Oh, I was gonna say, not, not bright, just like your brain. Whatever. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> She's been going on about this since she landed. The first thing she Where? said wasn't I miss you. It was I'm going to Ikea. We're at Ikea. Literally no, no line up here. Zero lines. That means it's empty for us. Oh yeah. Yamandeep's got well excited. She's taking my phone and she's basically taking pictures of everything. I want all three pieces. Yes, your wish is my command. What is this though? Is it like... Wait, I didn't take a picture of the right thing. Oh my goodness. Let me know. I just took a picture of the table. There. What's that? I think the flowers come separately. She's obsessed, guys. Mandeep in Ikea is the greatest gift for her in any sense. She doesn't need any materialistic things. This is a light. I, I could have told you that because there's light coming up. <laughs> I'm not impressed. Come on, let's go to the next one. Oh god. All right, we found so many things today that we want, and we're literally gonna go home and measure it all out, and then put like masking tape in the spots where we want it. I'm gonna go to my room now. What? Welcome to my room. Mom, what a shower for? Oh, it's got that rusty vibe. I like it. I love everything about this. Maybe not the wall color. Oh, okay, fine. I do like that. I like the hanging leaves. Thank you, Maggie. Mom, put claws Oh, that's sick. Yo, we need one of these, eh? How's your little uh, 10 year old room there, man? Did you say Lego? You get, is it Legos? 
empty. Monko, look at the pencil. Oh, that's it. That's a, oh my god. Yo, can we get that? That's it. So the funniest thing is that I'm inside was upstairs. We literally just looked for the studio stuff. But now downstairs we're shopping kitchen stuff. There's not nothing we There's bought. nothing we purchased or we wanted from upstairs in this basket. <laughs> Don't know why. That's life. Life. Don't know why. I'm I'm smiling, but you can't tell. No, I couldn't tell. Uh, that's why I wasn't smiling, but... <laughs> We're basically buying that light there. For my reading nook. Reading nook. I don't think right. I can put it in here. I'll hold it, I'll hold it. I'll leave it here for you. Yeah. I can't sit in the front because he ends up coming sitting on my lap at the front. is really uncomfortable. So when I sit in the back, he does this. I can't even show you guys what. Basically, he is right on top of me. I'm very uncomfortable. Bixie, Bixie, come here. Bixie, come inside. Come inside. Come inside. Oh yeah. Bixie, come here. Sit. Where's the cat? Let's go. What's good, my hoochie? Adidas, gang, gang, gang. Gang, gang. Where's your Adidas sign? Or oh, Adidas sign. Yeah, we got this new thing, me and Mandeep, right? Huh? If you're happy, you okay, go do this. So if you're happy, you go like. No, if no, you're smiling, funny. you go like this. And if you're laughing, you go like. And if you're and sad, sad, you go, go like. like <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm a bit blue, yo. Whatever. All right, yo, we guys are grocery shopping because we have no food at home, unfortunately. Here, mom, could don't leave me. Oh, man. <laughs> ah. It's a nice jacket you got going on there, yo. Hey, I wasn't allowed to wear a t-shirt of the house. <laughs> my husband didn't want me showing my arms to everyone. Alright, go grab your cob B, man. How do you know which one to choose? You gotta look at it first. Oops. Yeah, that looks good. And this is how you stack groceries in a car. Oh, yeah. Do it, do it, do it. Hey guys, so basically, me and Amin are building a trench, or we're digging a trench that goes from there. Monko move! That goes from there all the way down to our house that goes directly to the back of the house because they need this passageway for the electricity tomorrow and they're gonna drill through the house all the way through the garage because England houses are mad complicated. But yeah, so after electricity comes tomorrow, that is it. Our studio will be good to go to decorate. That's so exciting, man. You guys don't know what you're gonna be in for, man. There's gonna be so much exciting things to share. It's bare hot outside. Yeah, man, come, chop, chop. So you can't really tell, but we're making progress. Dig, Monku, dig. There. If you could tell, but it's working. Slowly, but surely. Monku's tired. Whatever, man. It'll be worth it. It will be worth it. It's a workout. Trust. We are at... What is this called again? Yeah, we should put one of them in the back. Hobbycraft. That's mad creepy. Hobbycraft. Hobbycraft! <laughs> yeah, how creepy is this? That is really creepy. Yeah, you want to use this stuff? Nah, man. Nah, man. Wow, that. Oh my god, what if we got our letters and then we painted them ourselves and put them in the back? That's cute. These are nice. 
Those are a bit nice. Did nice. you just call me? Mandeep. Mandeep. Yo, Mandeep. Um, Yo, Mandeep. Yo, Mandeep. <gasps> <laughs> you know you keep saying you want to paint. Why don't you spray paint me quicker? Spray paint what? Whatever you want to paint. Obviously, you want to spray paint it. Yo, should I get the paint now for that table? Where is the string? Nope. Over here. So I usually use threads. They're called threads, not strings. To make rakris, aka bracelets, for my brother. What color should I get him this year? I know he likes black, but... Yeah, he's black and yellow. And say, I'm That's what I did yellow. last year. Black and pink, because Almond said he's a pen. Mm. What, about, what about black? I'll do black, and then I'll do like this blue, and then like a darker blue. Is there a darker blue? Like these. It's nice, right? Look. That is nice. It goes from dark to light. Right? Or light to dark. And he likes like dark stuff, so I feel like it's super dope. Well, how does a pansy? <laughs> don't know. No, don't say that. <laughs> Actually, and what? And what? No, don't. I know you're gonna put it. <laughs> so I found this card and it says style, looks, talent, charm. Just a few of the cards you share with me. Is this is so hard, G. Yeah? Huh? Yeah. Is that material? That's me. And these are my qualities, and what? he shares them with me. Why is your eyes and tail the same color? <laughs> because, okay. Oh. Mad white up in here. So basically, whoa. Oh my god. All right, yo, so the space is done. It's empty. We're gonna move in all, some of the furniture that we have still, and then we're gonna go furniture shopping tomorrow. Cool. And Can't wait. so Can't hungry. Wait. So tired. Tomorrow, we're trying to get sofas, TVs, interiors, decor. Oh, I'm just saying interiors. You can't buy interiors. We're in the interior. Don't mind her. So I finally labeled my spice jars. Da -da -da -da. These are still empty. I don't know what to put in them yet. Any suggestions? Let me know that you don't already see. I haven't labeled this one yet. Himalayan pink salt. I was originally gonna order uh, these really fancy labels from um, what's it called? From Etsy. But I'm like, yo, I'm not spending 20 pounds per sheet. So. I was like, I'm just gonna make this myself. Still looks cute and way better than what it was before. I love using it, I love using it to cook and it makes me super happy. And there it is, that is everything. I tried to organize it as best as I could, but they're like mad, mad spices. Um, That's a little funnel thing I keep in the back. Those are extra toppers for these. If I wanna change them depending on the spice, Um, just my taco seasoning and stuff back there. So I have like cloves, ground cloves, then I have lachi and then lachi powder. I don't know why I didn't write cardamom on there, but whatever. I have this jaw mix that my my mom pre-made from Canada and she sent it to me. Basically, like you just put a sprinkle and every time you make jar, it tastes so good. And then I have fennel seeds, I have javan, I forgot what it was called in English. Then I have ground cinnamon, then I have cinnamon sticks, black pepper, and Himalayan pink salt. Then I got cumin seeds, ground cumin, paprika, tandoori masala, coriander seeds, coriander leaves, coriander powder. Then I have saffron, so this one's so funny, it's so tiny. But saffron, then I have fried onions, um, and then kasuri methi. Then I got garlic powder. Then I got onion powder, Italian seasoning, Italian seasoning with garlic. I use these when I make my homemade pasta sauce. Then I got oregano, also for pasta sauce, um, and like pretty much soup and stuff like that. Crushed chilies, um, chicken seasoning, and ground ginger. I will leave a link for where I got the jars from down below. I got them from Amazon. I got two packages. One package was 24 jars. And then I realized I had one empty shelf, as you guys saw earlier. So then I got a separate package for 12 jars. And then my whole jar thing is full. But now some jars are empty, so I'm going to have to figure out what to put the rest of them. But yeah, I like them. It's super productive. I think the drawer situation is dope for spices because we have it. If you don't have it, you can just use your normal cabinet with the layered things. I originally had the layered shelf, but then we got too many spices so that didn't work anymore. So you can just use that in your cabinet or like shopping or whatever. You don't have to have a drawer to use these jars. But yeah, so that's that. I hope you guys liked it. And I'm gonna have some coffee. So this is the coffee I'm currently using. I got it from Amazon. It's called Brown Bear. And it, the strength is three. And it's coffee beans. And it smells so yum. It's literally whole coffee beans. And I just grind it. I'm gonna cut my hair, it's literally a hot mess. But I just grind the beans, just like a small jar I would do, and so I can make like a couple cups of coffee. And then I usually like grinding them fresh, so that's that. But I got some Amazon, and I really, really like it. It's not that acidic-y, and that's the one thing I really didn't like about coffee, it's really acidic. So, oh. And then I got this French press, so I'm gonna make my coffee near, and just the aesthetic of it, 
so amazing and I don't know why but it just tastes better. Now for my hair, you guys asked. Remember a couple days ago I had the French braid, so like one on this side, one on this side. I pretty much washed my hair and waited till it was like damp and then I just braided it and then when I opened it, it looked like this. So I didn't use heat on this, it's just like from opening the braids. And yeah, so I'm just kind of trying to stay away from heat, especially because I'm not going anywhere. I'm just at home cleaning and organizing and building that studio thing in the back, which is done, by the way. We started slowly moving stuff back in and building new furniture, so I will show you that later today. But yeah, we get a sofa in like four days, and everything's coming together really, really slowly, and it's really exciting because now I have a place to like finally work and call like my own, and yeah. All right, guys. I realized I forgot to end the vlog, so here I am ending the vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed it. It was a long one, but there's so much that needs to be done and that is happening. So the next vlog is probably going to be of the studio. So stay tuned for that. I'm so excited to show you guys the pretty much the final look of the studio minus some bits and pieces that we're probably missing. So yeah, see you guys then. Love you loads. Remember to always stay gold. You can put your dollar on me. Promise I'll be everything you want and you need. Got me going up and above, I can't get enough It's like you put a spell on me If you really about it, then I'm about it for sure Yeah, you know I'm different than the ones before Ain't nobody gotta know, we can keep it on the low You're the one I've been looking for